Thanks for joining us today. My name is Lori Forsman Kirpus, one of the naturalists for Polk County Conservation. And today we are going to talk about a very unique mammal. So it's known as our largest rodent in North America. Another way it's been described is as nature's engineer. We are talking about the beaver. So we are going to talk a little bit about beaver, their adaptations, about ways they survive in nature. Okay. Um, beavers also have a very important historical aspect to them. So once upon a time, beaver fur was highly sought after. In European culture, everybody wanted to have a beaver coat, a beaver hat, to the point where there was no beaver furs left in Europe. So the fur traders came over into America and started to trap these animals. And these animals went from basically 60 million in the United St or North America to down to very few. And now today we're up to about two to three million beavers. So they've made a comeback. Um, so that's a good story. Now beavers survive in the wild um, based on a lot of unique adaptations. And typically, when I'm doing a school program, we have a volunteer that um, helps us from the classroom, and we talk about beaver adaptations by dressing someone up as a beaver. So today, we're lucky to have Andrew. Hey, Andrew, if you don't mind coming in and helping us. Uh, hey, Lori. Hey, How's it going? thank you for Anytime. volunteering. Anytime, I'm excited to dress up as a beaver today. <laughs> we like this. So Andrew's gonna become our beaver today as we talk about those adaptations. And as we go along, you guys may have questions and I will answer questions at the end. All right, so we'll get to as many questions as we can. So beavers are aquatic mammals, right? Correct. So they live in, in the wetlands. So they have to have a way to survive. And one of their main things is they have two kinds of fur. All right, so if you are a beaver, you've got this long outer fur, okay? And then you've got this inside fur that kind of acts like they're long johns. It helps keep them warm, okay? It's that warm layer. The outside fur acts like their raincoat. So today, to start with our volunteer beaver adaptations, we are going to give Andrew his very own beaver layer raincoat. All right. Now consider this like an insulated raincoat because beavers also have a very thick warm layer of fat that helps them keep warm in that cold Iowa water. All right. So they've got this raincoat like and that's those outside guard hairs. Now because they spend a lot of time in the water, okay, they also have another important adaptation. Oh yeah. So what's this the looking feet. like? Andrew? So it looks like, yeah, beavers have webbed feet. So yes. that okay. helps a lot when it comes to swimming, right? Lori? It does, it helps them get around. It helps them be more efficient swimmers in the water. So for our beaver, we are going to give him some webbed feet. All right. So here we have some adaptations, flippers, just like you guys would wear if you were swimming in the water and you want it to be faster than your friend, all right? So you're looking more like all a right. beaver. starting to look like a beaver. I like this. Now, beavers are America's largest rodent, okay? Which means they are nine animals. So they mm. have front teeth, call them incisors, where it means they like to chew and chew and chew. So we have a beaver skull, okay? Now you notice how yellow their teeth are, it's not because they're dirty, that's just an extra thick layer of enamel. And then inside you got the dentin layer, okay? And those teeth actually are like little axes. And so they're able to take chunks of wood and actually chew down a whole tree. Now the thing about our beaver is his teeth are constantly growing, so he always has to chew on something. If he doesn't, those teeth could literally continue to grow and grow into his mouth. Well, he would not be able to eat. So nine animals need to consistently chew and wear down their teeth. So that's why they're always chewing on yes. logs and stuff. So Andrew, we're gonna give you your own set of beaver teeth. All right, let's All get right, some buddy. beaver teeth. Here we go. I'll let you Thank figure you that worry. out. All right, Mr. Beaver. Now, beavers have other adaptations. Um, so beavers spend their time underwater a lot, right? They're swimming, they're carrying those sticks and they're building dams and they're, they're building their lodges. 
and they like to see underwater. So beavers actually have another adaptation where they have a third eyelid and that third eyelid is called a nictitating membrane and it basically is a clear eyelid. So we are going to give Andrew his own clear eyelid just like a beaver so he can see under water. Awesome, look at that beaver. So that's a pretty important adaptation, okay? Right. Now, Andrew, when you're swimming underwater, mm -hmm. okay, you don't want to get water up your nose. No, because that, like that be happens. Fun. I don't think anyone likes that. <laughs> that would not be fun for a beaver. So beavers have the ability, they have little flaps on their nose and they can actually close those flaps so water doesn't get up their nose. So we have got a nose plug like a swimmer would wear to show that adaptation, okay? Wow, right. so beavers have lots of adaptation. They have another adaptation around their head, okay? When they're swimming underwater, they don't want to get water in their ears. So beavers have the ability to close their ear flaps. So to represent that, my beaver friend, <laughs> we are going to give you your own official oh, beaver cool. ear muffs from the 70s, I think. I mean, we really recycle things around here. All right. So All right. Looking, like, looking like a beaver. Looking like a beaver, okay. I think. So right. you're swimming good. Swimming. You're closing your oh. nose flaps. You're closing your eyes. You're able to yeah. close your ear flaps. Guess how long you can stay underwater Ooh, if you're a long? beaver and you're swimming? Well, how Thinking long maybe, if, you, if you were doing it yourself? If oh, you if were, I could stay underwater? Yeah. Probably 30 seconds, maybe a minute. It's the longest. I don't long. know. Maybe. We'll that's see. Yeah. If you were a beaver, you could hold your breath for about 15 to 20 Ooh, minutes. That is quite a long time. So underwater. they can spend a lot of time building those dams and those lodges. That's pretty important adaptation. That is important. All right. Lord, do beavers use their tail to help build their lodges? Thank you for that question. Yes. So beavers have this very flat tail here. Okay. It's one of the key things about beavers is that flat tail. Right? And that flat tail has lots of important uses. Okay? This tail, actually, as they're swimming through the water, it acts like a rudder or a steering wheel. All right? um, and so I'm going to give you your own beaver tail. Oh, okay. So I you can tail. be an efficient yep. swimmer. And we are going to use a paddle for that. So that paddle, just like in the water, it helps him steer or rudder his way through. Now that tail also has another important use when a beaver is frightened or thinks there's danger in the area. You know what the beaver does with his tail? Don't they smack it on top of the they water? Do. They yep. can smack it on the water, and you can hear really that loud. sound for up to a half mile away. Ooh. And that warns other beavers, danger, dive down in, go into your lodge, disappear, and it's a good warning sound. So that's how they Very make their cool. warning. Okay. Now, people have told me that beavers like to pack mud with their tails. That's a wife's tail. So you not as a sure beaver are not using your tail to pack mud. No, okay. They do not do that. Right? So we'll clear up that myth right away. Now, another really important adaptation for beavers is beavers actually have an oil gland under their tail. Okay. So they have the ability, and it's a castor oil, so they use that a couple different ways. They take the oil and they can mark their territories, okay? so other beavers know, hey, this is my yard, don't come in. They also use that oil to comb onto their outside hairs, those guard hairs. So I'm gonna give you an oil can to represent that castor oil, okay? And then I'm gonna give you a comb because on your feet, you have a little claw that's split and it actually allows you to comb your fur and comb oh. the oil on and that's how all the water drops off, all right? So those are some really cool adapt of our beaver. So is there any questions that we any have so there? far? Yes, um, we have someone who wants to know how do beavers build their home? Oh, how do beavers build their home? All right, so beavers use their front teeth, right? And they're cutting the wood and they're cutting off little pieces at a time. So this is an example of a beaver chew that he's come, and then they actually carry it in their mouth. They carry those sticks in their mouth, and then they will build a lodge, okay, um, that has a couple different entrances. So one is like an escape entrance, one is a dry entrance, 
Um, and I do have a video at the end of this where you can go to our Facebook Live Pinterest page and actually see beavers building their um, home, building their lodge. Good question. Anything else? All right. Another question wants to know how long does it take them to build their <laughs> dams? <laughs> they are very busy beavers, right? So it depends on the size of the dam and how long it takes to build. But beavers, the reason, okay, so our beaver here, the reason you are compelled to build a dam is because you have really good hearing and you don't like the sound of running water. When you hear the sound of running water, you are compelled to stop that sound and build that dam. So that dam could be not a very big one, so it wouldn't take as long. Or back in the 1700s, they used to have dams were over a mile wide. That's the other cool thing about beavers, is beavers are the only animals, one of the few animals that actually create new habitat. They take that river and turn it into a lake, or turn it into a meadow, or turn it into a pond for other animals to live. So beavers really are our true nature engineers and builders. Great question. Any other questions? Yes. Um, how fast do beavers swim? Do we know this? <laughs> that is a very good question. I know they can swim pretty fast. I don't know exactly how fast. I don't know that Should anybody's ever clocked. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't clocked a beaver. And I don't so. think I want you in the water to see how fast you can they, swim. Yeah, they, I probably couldn't swim as fast as a beaver. They are very fast. Like Lori said, they have so many adaptations that make them really great swimmers. So that would be that'd be a good competition. To, that's, that's the beaver in the water, but I think question. the beaver would win. I love those questions. All yeah. right, we've got two more. Oh, two more questions. Right. Good, I love it. All right, so how many babies can a beaver have at once? Oh, I love that question. So right in May, so right, April's coming up, and then we have May. That's when the new babies, and they're called kits, are born, okay? They have a three-month gestation period. So they're born in May. The month of May is when the new babies come out, and they can have anywhere from three to nine in a litter, all right? So yeah, hopefully seeing some new babies here in about uh, two months. Okay, yeah. and then how old do beavers get? Wow, so beavers can live, I think average what they've said is about 12 years. Is, is That would be a pretty long life for a wild animal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, thank you guys. We yeah, appreciate you your guys. attention. Guys, go to our Facebook Live, find, we have a coloring page, we have that um, information that talks about or shows the video of beavers building a dam. And